so welcome back guys another review of your body nerd corner today we're gonna review the 30 uh, <clears throat> a shockwave uh, collectible one six collectible figure okay not actually one six but it's a 12 inch figure <laughs> this figure was made by 30 is known they are called like they are a high end, end company they make high end collectibles they have a lot of stuff they have uh, they are making the transformer lines and now they are making a rainbow figure and things stranger things power rangers these are all one six collectibles i have reviewed before um, for products uh, the bumblebee as you can see it here in the background and i reviewed my my optimus prime and now today we're gonna review our shockwave so this this guy based on the G1 a model which is my favorite actually. He comes with his little accessory Ravage. Here you can see it comes with something like different. It doesn't come with a lot of accessories actually. It comes with his Iron Blaster Ravager and uh, his shoulder his shoulder gun and some hands. Let's start with the hands this one he comes actually with i think uh, six seven nine 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 hands i think nine hands yes nine hands this is one two three four five six seven eight nine yes nine hands actually this is his fisted hand as you can see pointy hands pointing he's like attack come on attack the up the autobots he's ordering his Decepticon fellows to charge this is his trigger hand as you can see and all the hands actually is very flexible as you can see they are quite flexible so you can fit your, your gun quite easily these are grabbing grabbing hands grabbing hands extra grabbing hands and, or some guys call it poops grabbing hands <laughs> actually and this is his other right fisted hand okay this is for the this is all for the accessories about the figure itself let us see as you can see this is ravager he looks awesome he comes actually with his accessories we're gonna start with ravager here when he comes actually he is folded and he's to, he's folded to fit inside his chest which actually opens you know you can open his chest like this let us use our thumbnails to get it you can this is on a hinge you can move it on that way so it's a little light because i'm i really i i don't open it that much yes as you can see as you can see this just looks very good from the inside they have some drawing of mechanics to give you the feelings of some some uh, mechanics going on engineering see this is ravage comes with his psi cannons as you can see his trademark decepticons logo he has a gun here articulation is pretty simple actually you can yes this one you can take it off actually you have to attach it when you first receive the figure there's another gun here at the back yes i will not fold it actually but i will show it to you because it's tricky to fold it back so i'm gonna show you only the articulation see the mouse i think yes it's articulated i think yes i think it's a little stiff yes yes there is a joint articulation in the mouse in the jaw articulation head move up and forth up and down you have some yes it's pretty good decent amount of motion you will not have yes this two his tail goes goes like this tail you can put it upward his 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 side cannons, so we can we're gonna put him away like this, and now we're gonna go to the bigger guy to shockwave himself. 
This guy is awesome actually, I really like it. For aesthetics, I think the guy is spot on. He just he just like he uh, looks like he came, he jumped out of the movie actually. <laughs> this is based I I forget to say, to tell you guys this is based on the Bumblebee movie, which was my favorite. As you can see, there is a light up feature here. If you push the button here in his forearm, sorry, your forehead, this one. Turn it on, turn it off. Okay. This is his sh shoulder cannon actually. You can move it like this. Like this. It's on, it's on a double ball hinge. You can go all the way. You can put it like in here. Oh, let's detach it. Anyway, it's like put it like attack mode, neutral mode. Okay. And for the articulation. It comes actually with the same stand that comes with 3.0. It's sort of a dynamic stand actually. Let's see if it stands on his own because actually he's quite heavy. He's a hefty figure. He's, oh, we lost his cannon. Okay, it's fine. Let's see if he stands on his own because he's a very heavy, hefty figure. Okay. So the stand is. Uh, this is a standard the stand, the same as in the, that came with Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. You have the same maneuver. You can control it like this. You can push this one, have it like the angle like this, or you can put it like this, and you push it down to make it lock in place. Okay. The same in here. You're gonna for this lever. You're gonna push it down like this. Okay, and can extend this far to give it high flying poses and believe me it will sustain the weight pretty nice don't be afraid but I don't tend to put it in flying stand actually so the same you're gonna push it down and do it like this okay like this and take it to lock and it's actually uh, I think I did it wrong no it's like this yes okay this one this this part is detachable. This part, this part actually gonna fit inside his butt. <laughs> you gonna see a part in here. This part, you remove this part and attach it here. But I will not do it because actually I will not put it, hold it in a, a flying pose or dynamic poses. This is a very hefty figure, and because actually I'm afraid something wrong gonna happen to him. Maybe he gonna fall or something. And this is an expensive figure actually. I'll not bear it to fall. So. Uh, now we're gonna go for his articulations, okay? For the articulations, we're gonna have. Let me bring it here more closer. Same artic, normal articulation. Start with the head. Okay, gonna go gonna, It's uh, head can go up that much, down that much. I spoke about this one before. The hinge, the shoulder cannon is on a hinge actually, double double hinge. You can. Move it anyway, it's just cool. Shoulder can rotate 360. Beware only when you're when you're doing the articulation, don't to scratch the plastic actually. Don't don't push it against it and you know try to have some space so you can rotate it really okay. Same double elbow sink. No not double elbow it's more than 60 degrees a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Consider a double elbow, okay? Let's see if it's have an up crunch like Optimus. Mm, not a lot, actually. Yes, it has, but it was stuck. As you can see, there is the mechanics in the, in the back of the figure, which is amazing. This is the back, actually. Let me show you the back. This is the back of the figure. You can see every detail. This is astonishing. This guy is Nick. Phenomenal job actually, the paint, the scuffs and marks, very realistic, the rosering is amazing as a figure. And those parts can be movable, like this, you can maneuver this part, so you can have side articulation. Okay, move that much, but it hindered by this piece, you know, we have a full articulation of the side actually. We have knee. Double hinged knee, double bend, which 
actually very good this is amazing quite far and we have two articulation we have our, yes we have a two articulation here as you can see is it the rocker i think maybe there's a rocker but it's stuck in mine i'm not quite sure yes maybe it's stuck i'll not force it anyway this is a very hefty figure and expensive you're not you don't go and force something like this you know the details on this guy are phenomenal actually i really like it you can put him in a lot of poses as you as you as you wish the guy will hold the poses very well let us put it in a quick pose here i'm gonna make him hold his blaster iron gun iron blaster iron gun actually like this he's about to blast somebody yes he's gonna blast you back at the at home guys with his blaster with his cannon shoulder cannon <sighs> actually make it like in here be in the middle this is ravagery can you can actually have him either in his i prefer to put it in his over his shoulder like this he looks cool or you can just fit it here standing next to him so for size comparison i have here my bumblebee figure as you can see here let me put this one back a little bit for size comparison this is bumblebee in a dynamic pose i love it of course he he towers above bumblebee you know bumble as you can see bumblebee on the fly, uh, dynamic stand and he actually doesn't actually doesn't doesn't match uh, match up in his uh, height so actually he he's a beast he's a a hefty large figure actually as you can see goes well fits with b this is b in his dynamic pose he's ready quick to kick some ass as you can see so i think it's gonna be awful today guys this is well, my review of the three zero shockwave bumblebee based figure uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up and give it give it a, if you don't give it some down and uh, keep up guys i'm gonna be reviewing the my last figure gonna be blitzwig i blink the with the blitzwig figure gonna be our upcoming my upcoming review until then thank you so much guys uh, keep collecting and bye